sync. All right, what's up, y'all? Man, I'm back. Back again with another video. Uh, this is for the YouTube channel. Uh, what we're going to do today uh, is we're going to take a little more deep dive into the clothes as far as like making them okay so we left off with just making basic clothes right so i'm gonna teach you guys how to add light and i'm gonna teach you how to add more to the clothes as far as like pockets um but if you guys want to learn how to like texturize the clothes and make it more realistic looking then click that link in the description below and subscribe to the patreon where i dive into more detail and more depth on how to texture your clothes how to add fine little cloth um wrinkles and like especially like fuzz cloth fuzz i'll show you how to add that and then we can go ahead and deep dive into like adding like designs to your clothes like if you want to make custom designs or if you have like a clothing brand you want to go ahead and uh market your clothing brand on your cartoons i can teach you how to do that on my patreon so if you click that link below you'll be able to uh learn how to do that other than that please like share comment subscribe i appreciate y'all for supporting me keep god first stay blessed up man and let's go ahead and stay clear let's go so <clears throat> We're gonna start with the pants. As you see, we got basic pants. I'm gonna put y'all on game, bro. So basically, he has like a school uniform on type shit, right? And he's like a nerd. So what we wanna do, we don't want the, these basic pants right now. We wanna add like pockets to them. So we go, if I look at some reference on cargo shorts, I'm gonna look at cargo shorts, cargo shorts, cargo shorts, men. So we look at some cargo shorts for men. As you can see, they have pockets on the sides. So what we can do is let's add our pockets. So let's do this. We're gonna click these. Then we're gonna split these shorts in half. Split these shorts in half. Or no, nah, we don't necessarily have to do that. Uh, we can do this. Cause I'm gonna offset all right, so let's go to right view mode. Let's go, let's let's see how wide our pocket is. So we want our pocket to be right here, to right here, to right here, and right here. And now we just wanna select everything within those borders. Boom. That pocket may be too fat. Hold on, let's deselect this right here. All right, so as you can see, it really sticks out a little bit, so the pockets, they stick out just a tad. But then we have a flap that stick out more than the actual pocket itself. So what I'll do is, uh, let's see, this is my first time doing this, so we learning together. Let's walk through it together. So what I'll do, I'll go about this by doing Alt-E, right? And then I'll just extrude faces, just a tad though. So I hold Shift to bring, like, to, um, make it more like you know what I'm saying I, I can't even think of the word right now but yeah hold shift that way you don't go crazy like this you can just hold shift and get an increments all right boom so we have it in increments this is our pocket so now we look at it okay it looks like it could be some let's bring it out all right then we have our flap so our flap is really more so as um, so this is the top of the pocket we just bring that out somewhere you know what I'm saying we can like rotate you click O we can rotate that so we just hit this you select this right here Control 
right here in the middle of that pocket. And we can just select these right here. Just push them down. I'll push them down. That way, you know what I'm saying? You see what I'm trying to do? Push that down, that way you got that little indention right there. And then you scale that. Now if we have, now we gotta make that little flat. So we go, let's click our face select mode. Matter of fact, we gotta, let's bring this in. Let's select these edges. Select these edges. Basically teach you how to make these cargo shorts. Y'all see what I'm trying to do? Yeah, some shit like that. And then I just take the inside. I mean, it don't look all perfect, but I guess when we smooth it out, it'll look straight. I'm just trying to make that a little flat. our little pocket that we made y'all see how that turned out you know it, it don't look the best but once we smooth it out and start tweaking it in the scope mode it'll be what it needs to be for me so let's go ahead and tweak it out in scope mode and just adjust the pocket so i got my grab tool you know you can smooth it out if you want let's do this y'all let's do this before we do this let's save it we're going to add our, let's see what we got. Let's do multi-resolution. Let's subdivide. Let's go ahead and, uh, let's go ahead and tweak it in scope mode. So let's tweak our pocket. So like we got this right here. Let's pull this up. I'm going to pull this up because our pocket is overlapping. 
our, our flap is overlapping the pocket. So that's what we need to do. That's what I'm doing. Having a flap overlap type shit. <laughs> Feel me? Yeah, hey man. Look, we here, man. I appreciate y'all, you know what I'm saying, for rocking with me. You know what I'm saying? Going through these tutorials, because I make these personally for y'all and I take my time with this. So what I can say, man, just hit that subscribe button, support me. That way we can go ahead and do this full time, man. Cause I know in about an hour and some change, your boy gotta go to work. I ain't, mm -mm, I ain't with that. I'm trying to have this be my work. I'm trying to teach y'all. I'm trying to really make a living off of teaching y'all how to do 3D or just like, that's what I'm saying. And I will, man, you know what I'm saying? Let's get this shit monetized. That way I have more time doing this for y'all. And then we could really like run it up with this. So let's go ahead and get this channel monetized so we can run it up. Cause I really, I really enjoy teaching y'all this. Like I really have a passion for teaching y'all. And I really want y'all to learn. Cause I want people to be on my level. That way we can make some fire shit together. And you know, like, I don't know. It's just more fun when people know how to, like when you're around the same, like when you're around like-minded people and especially if they know how to do like blenders. So it's like, it's a lot of shit I can learn from them and it's a lot of shit they can learn from me. But yeah, let me quit chatting y'all, but nah, y'all. So this is our pocket, man. We got our little, pocket or whatnot we got a little pocket man you know what i'm saying and if you want let's add we can add okay let's see so we got a little pocket let's do this let's take this multi-resolution off right here and then let's click tab and so as i see in our pocket we have or on our yeah pocket it's like they got like a little I don't know what the fuck to call it. It's like a little crease or whatnot, but it stick out. So we gonna do this. Just follow my lead, y'all. I don't know what the hell to call this, but it, I see it in the reference image. So let's do this. Grab our pocket and it's like a little crease type shit. So this is what we gonna do. We gonna hit select these. And we gonna hit Alt E. Extrude faces on the X. And then push it out. Make sure you hold shift though. That way you don't be going crazy with it. Hold shift. So we just making like little details. Details and whatnot. You know what I'm saying? None too spectacular. You know. If now if we turn this on. Oh, let's take this off. I just deleted multi-resolution. I just want to select this right here. I want to select, alt select this. And I want to push these back. Like that. Hey, yeah. Just grab my real quick. Just want to see something. Make sure you don't go. I'm moving the rig, make sure the pocket is not deformed. Make sure I check. Let's see. Oh yeah, make sure y'all check the form, yo. Check the form. That way shit. That way Blender know, hey, this is supposed to be deformed and don't be fucking with my shit. Make it look cray cray. Feel me? So yeah, we got our We gotta fix those shoelaces though. We gotta fix those. You know what I'm saying? So Yeah. So it looks like All right, so it looks like our pocket moves with our shorts. That's what I was just trying to make sure that our pocket moves with the shorts, you see? 
All right, so let's click this again. All right, so let's go back to our pose mode. Just hit A and then Alt G. Reset my position. All right, let's move back to the shorts. Let's hide the red. Make sure y'all save too, y'all. Make sure y'all say, I ain't gonna count. I might as well go ahead. This is what I might as well do. I might as well go ahead, split these damn shorts down the middle. You feel me? That way we can just have the same pocket on the left side, on the other side as well. You know I'm saying that way we ain't gotta make too much work for ourselves. So I hit X, vertice, add modifier, generate mirror. And then hit that try and click that. And then check click it. Okay, now we got our pocket on both sides. That way we ain't gotta do too much. Now, if you want, what else we got? Uh they got bad pockets. I believe you got bad pockets inside this shirt. So let's make a bad pocket for this fool. Um let's see, how are we gonna do this? We can make a back pocket. We can go ahead and hit one. Let me move this up right here. That way it's apology. It's like lined up right if you feel Alright, yeah, so let's do our back pocket. We're gonna do this. It's gonna look rough for right now though. It's okay. Matter of fact, let me make sure it don't look real. Let's uh, smooth this out. Hit the smooth tool right here. I'll just smooth that out. That way it look more like a, I guess. And then once we smooth it out for real, for real, we'll be able to uh, adjust it. So we're just trying to get the basic. Pocket shape down, you know. All right, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna hit Shift E. Um, I lied, don't hit Shift E, hit Alt E. Extrude faces on the Y. Or let's do this. Alt E, extrude, extrude faces along normals. That's better. That way it'll be in direction. Basically gonna do the same thing that we did in the front. Let's just move this down. Just move this down, make sure everything good. Alright. We got that. This down right here. In. Or rotate. rotate. Yeah, yeah. Rotate that. Let's move. Let's hit vertice mode. Let's move this up. Because we finna make the flap. That's what I'm doing, y'all. We finna make the flap. So let me make this flap. Back pockets, these gonna be cut out anyway because you ain't gonna really see these for real. 
the shirt gonna be really covering with me. You know, just in case you wanna learn how to make them. You know what I'm saying? None too crazy. Or none too crazy. You know what I'm saying? Now we go. We can go ahead and add our mirror modifier. And let's go back and add a multi-resolution. Click subdivide. So now you see those pockets kind of indentured, you know. So let's go to scope mode and tweak it some. So we can, uh, let me see, let's go here. Select minus, hit F. Now we finna just tweak the uh, pockets a little bit more. Have a little crease in them or whatnot. Or we can just, let's see, hit tab. Hit control R. Just push these up in the middle. That way it gives that it gives that illusion where it's like indented, you know what I'm saying? I guess. Man, you scared that hoe. You know what I'm saying? Rotate that bit. Gooch, man. You see? You know what I'm saying? So you, you can just, you know what I'm saying, go to tap scope mode. Hit grab tool, you can literally just bring it down like that. Make it look like a little pocket or like a little flat. None to it, my dog. None to it. But yeah, man. That's how you will add little pockets and stuff to me. This is how I do it. This is my first time doing it for real. So this is how I do it. Um, like I said, it's always testing, trial and error. Just test it out, see what works. And yeah, Blender is basically just fucking with it, bro. Once you start fucking with it, you'll you'll know what works, you'll know what, what don't work. You'll end up discovering some a whole new different technique, modeling technique, bro. All it is, bro. Once you spend that time with Blender, bro, or just spend that time, you'll start. This shit will start clicking for you, man. But yeah, bro. Once it start clicking, bro. You be good, I'm trying to tell you. And also, I'm also doing live um, classes. So if you're interested in the live class, I will be having um, enrolls, enrollment soon. So if you're interested, comment down below. Um, comment down below and type in Jutune class because I will be having live classes soon. That way I can teach you guys how to... Uh, I can be I, I can teach you in person. That way you won't feel like I just it's just basically a way for me to connect with y'all. You know, you know, I don't want y'all to be lonely or just feel like y'all alone learning this. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, I'm gonna um have live classes. I'm doing I'm already teaching somebody. Um I charge for like a private course. I charge a hundred an hour. <laughs> nah, it's a uh, I'm bullshit. I gotta uh, let me see. Oh shit, my head is y'all. I'm sorry, but nah, I charge. Uh, I charge for live courses, bro. If you want like a live course, shit, we'll do a hundred dollars an hour, and it's gonna be like an hour. So you'll get, or nah, fuck that. Just cause I do a discount, we'll do. I look, fuck it. Let me continue the uh, tutorial, and I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna give y'all more details on that. But just know I'm doing live, live classes, and if y'all want to join, I got y'all, bro. Ta comment down below, Jutune live classes, if y'all want to join. Yeah. So we got our pockets, man. Let's buff these up. Let's buff these pockets up, some man. Four pockets full type shit. You feel me? You four pockets full in this motherfucker. <laughs> hey, yeah. And like all I'm doing now, just going over detail. 
none too cray cray, you know. None too cray cray, y'all. Just going over my creases. Uh, yeah. And then we can add the buttons on it to even make it look more like cargo shorts. To smooth this out. Uh, yeah. Let's do this. Let's let's detail this. Let's hit these creases right here with this. I got the uh multi-plane scrape tool. So let's 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 do that. Or I can do the scrape tool, regular scrape tool. You know? Take some of that out. That way our pockets look like cargo pockets, you know. If that makes sense to y'all. Yeah, crease brush. Yeah, I will be texturizing these pants, adding materials. But if you want to learn how to realistically texture clothes, subscribe to that Patreon, man, where you'll find all the exclusive tutorials, bonus videos, and more. Because there's certain information that y'all do have to pay for. I ain't gonna cap. But I will still bless y'all with other shit too. But certain stuff that take me a long time to figure out, y'all gonna have to uh, subscribe to the Patreon, man. Because it wouldn't be fair to my members if I put y'all on free game. And you know what I'm saying? They gotta pay for the free game, but nah. So yeah, all, all, the, all the juice, all the Jutune juice is on the Patreon, yo. But yeah, this video is basically explaining, just like, just adding more detail, I guess, a little, a little more detail to your uh, clothes, you know, that way it can look more realistic. Or if you're going for a stylized look, this would be a perfect look for you. That way you ain't really gotta add too much material. But uh, if you like the realistic type shit, like Pixar type texturing and materials, bro, I got you. Bro. I'm gonna show you how to do that. Now I'm just going over this. Yeah. And now we get to add. Let's smooth this. All right. So we got our shorts. Okay. Let's make that little crease right there. With that, uh, the penguin. Hold on. Before we do that, I just want to check my rig. Make sure everything is moving properly. So let me go back to my rig. Control tab. Alright, let's click my feet. Let's see. Alright, it seems like everything. I mean the pocket stretches a little bit, but who gives a damn? I mean it's supposed to, right? It stretches a little bit. I mean, that's cool, bro. That's cool, bro. You know what I'm saying? That's cool. Make sure I shit good. Hit them with that Kung Fu Muay Thai pose. Oi! Yeah! Oh, damn. That nigga knee broke. So that moves to my liking. Let's hide the rig. And uh, yeah, I ain't gonna count. We necessarily ain't gotta add this shit right now. Um, let's go ahead and pull the shirt back up because it's gonna hide it anyways. You know? Let's move this shirt back some because the pants is peeking through. Alright. Bring this down. Yeah. 
Yeah, I'm just bringing this shirt down, y'all. I mean, since he a nerd, this nigga shit. I mean, he ain't necessarily a nerd. I don't know. Yeah, nerd. Y'all think we should have his shirt tucked or shirt out? We gonna do shirt out for right now. We gonna do shirt out for right now, y'all. All right, let's make our pocket pockets. Our side pockets. Let's hide this shirt right now. So we gotta make our side pockets. So let's let these, our side right here. It's not necessarily sticking out, it's just like a slit. So I'm just trying to add a slit. So if I hit I, okay, and I just bring this down. Adjust it in scope mode. Adjust it bitch in scope mode, y'all. Yeah. Yeah, I see we got our foot knots right there. Really, like you said, tie this. Let's hide this. Or, I don't know, we might as well just go ahead and do another one. I ain't tripping. Let's go ahead and make a another slit. I ain't tripping, y'all. I ain't gonna do all that. I'm doing too much. Let me hit I. Ah. Then just move this in. Then you just extrude it, rotate, just move that bit down, rotate that bit some more. Let me see what that's hitting on. You know what I'm saying? Ain't nothing crazy. Even with this, let me go back, edit mode, select this. Let's extrude it in like this, but move it down though. Scale it on the wall. Look crazy, but it don't look crazy at the same time. I don't know. But yeah, man, shit. Them, them my pockets right there. All right, let's go ahead and move that. Move this out. Okay. All right. So now, if you want, we can really adjust. Let me do this. Hit X right here. Symmetry. Let's move it up. Move these pockets up because this really supposed to go 
So this is supposed to go up. This is supposed to go up. This piece is supposed to go up. And this piece is supposed to go down. Let's pull that out because we see that nigga cheats. Okay. Let's smooth it out. We can smooth it out with the smooth tool. Or you can hold shift and then left click. Let's just bring this in. Let's uh, pinch. Yeah, we can pinch this together. All the creases we could pinch. All the creases, let's pinch. Let's take it down 0.2 and some change. All right, now I'm gonna check my rig. Make sure everything moving properly. Make sure y'all save too, y'all. Save. feet. I'm gonna grab my little feet tool right here. But yeah. Let's hit this. You know what I'm saying? It's straight. I can I can adjust this. This ain't no problem. I'm just trying to make sure it moves right. I can adjust this. No problem. You're gonna have a few mistakes here and there, but it's all about how you can uh, adjust it. So as long as our pockets is good, it's moving the way we need to, it's deforming the way we need to, we gooch, y'all, we gooch. The back pocket, we ain't gotta really worry about the back pocket like that, for real. But the more, the pockets that we really need to, that's really gonna be seen are the side pockets. <coughs> Whatever's gonna be seen by the camera, that's the stuff you work on the most. The stuff that's not seen by the camera, you can really I ain't gonna say you can really bullshit it, but you can really cheat the camera. Like, and then what's the point of doing all that work if it's not gonna be seen anyway, you feel me? So, just trying to teach y'all work smarter, not harder. So let's hit Alt-G, you know what I'm saying? Let's see how it moves this way. Rotate that. Let's see how it moves. Look like it moves straight on that one, so hit Alt-G on R. All right, so we can hide our rig again. So we got our uh, shorts and let's, if you want, we can go ahead and make buttons. Buttons are easy. You don't really have to do too much. Uh, we can do this, let's do this. Let's hit, okay, make sure you save it. And then what we're gonna do, let's click the shorts. We're gonna make our buttons. Click the shorts, we're gonna click this face. Hit shift S, cursor to select it. Go back to object mode. Hit shift A, add a mesh, we're gonna add a circle, all right? Our circle's gonna end up right there where we added our cursor. So we hit R and 90. Rotate it on a 90, right? Let's hit circle. I mean, let's scale it down, okay? Scale it down, move it out this way. Scale it, move it up. Let's go to object mode. And we're gonna hit F to fill. So we're gonna hit F to fill. Okay. Uh, let me see something. All right, so now all we're gonna do is hit E and X. I'm just gonna shoot it out a little bit. Okay. Shoot it out a little bit. Now we gotta add a bevel. So hit Edge Select Tool, which is number two. We're gonna Alt Select. So we're gonna select this edge, hit Alt, loop to select this edge, and hit Control B for bevel. We're just gonna bevel it and just move our little middle mouse button, add a little bit of definition right there. And trust me, one tip, if you bevel 
objects it'll look more realistic it'll help it'll help your renders look more realistic because that way the light will hit the corners of the object feel me so yeah tip for y'all let's go ahead and right click and shade smooth so now we hit let me see I mean that's if you want to add buttons you can I like to add the buttons uh let's see let's hit face select hit I hit I and we just gonna extrude this in on the X like that right view mode so let's hit tab so we got our button okay just uh, control R make sure you just pull this back hit control R on this one Shift S, cursor to select it. Make sure our button is selected. Let me name it. Button. Benjamin Button Hit X. All right, let's hit Shift A. Let's add a cylinder. The same place. We're gonna rotate X. We're gonna rotate on the Y and 90. Then we're gonna scale it. We gotta make our little holes. So hit tab. We're gonna do shift S. I mean uh, Alt S. Or shit was it shift or was it? Shift control S. We just gonna shit yeah, this shit tripping. We just gonna hit one of these. Scale that down. And scale it on the X. Then we just gonna go to right view mode. We're gonna put this like in a square format. So we're gonna hit one. Uh, we ain't adding mode, so hit shift D. Move that right there. Shift D. Move that down. Shift D. Move that over. Oh shit, nah. Move that over. Yeah. Wow. So now we're gonna do this little bullying shit. So we're gonna click our button. Add modifier. Generate. Gonna do Boolean. We're gonna do Boolean. Now we're gonna click our eyedropper tool. We're gonna select our cylinders. I don't know why the fuck that did that like that. What happens if we reset no uh, difference? Yeah. Pass, what is this? Alright, then we're just gonna apply it. Now we just move this out the way. Cause now We got our button. Let's see. And let's do smooth. 
the division civilians. Oh lord, come on now. Oh no, yeah, that's tweaking, yeah, he's tweaking out. But yeah, um this is how you would do a button. I'm not sure why it looks like this. But yeah, like I said, man. It's gonna barely be seen anyway, so let's just add it in it. Let's add it right here. That 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 but that's if y'all want a button. Depends. Let me see. I'm gonna just how the fucking Does the button even belong there? I don't even see. I mean, it could be Velcro. Oh, fuck it. Let's add this button right here. We're gonna add the button right here, y'all. So let's be, we're gonna add our button right here, man. We ain't made this button for no reason, bro. I ain't gonna do that to y'all. I ain't not gonna do that to y'all. Let's go ahead and add our button right here. Make sure proportional edit it all, though. Hit this right here. Shift S. Cursor to select. Go to object mode. Get your button. Shift S. Selection the cursor. Keep offset. And we just gonna hit R Z and do the wrong one. Make sure the button selected R on the Z axis and 90. What that do? Oh, gotta do it the other way, y'all. R, Z, negative 90. There you go. Let's just, I guess, match it up to our pants. You'll just put it in halfway like that. Yeah. We put our shirt back on. And you say you can't even see the button, bro. So Yeah, man. This is uh this is how you add like pockets and flaps to like shorts, the cargo shorts. So yeah, man, we did that to the shorts. Uh in the next video, I'm gonna show you how to add it. Uh add like pockets to the shirt. But if you guys want to learn how to add like stitching and like realistic fabric, hit that link and subscribe. I mean, hit that link in the description um in the description box and subscribe to the Patreon. That way you'll be able to know how to um, add the minor details and actually make it look realistic and cartoony, man. So we want to go for that Jutoon slash Pixar slash dreamworks type look man so we want to be professional with our shit bro so yeah man so if you want hit that link in the description that way you can go ahead and continue this journey and y'all you finna go ahead and i'm gonna go ahead and um add my material to these shorts peace i see it. oh yeah before i leave um like I said, I want to thank y'all for uh, watching my vids and supporting me, man. I'm glad I can help. And uh, I just asked for return. You know what I'm saying? Just let's do this for real, man. Let's, um, I really want to do this for y'all, man. I really want to teach y'all full time. And uh, I really want to quit my job for y'all, bro. So I be on the verge to do it, but man, let's do this shit, bro. I'm ready to teach y'all, bro. But other than that, man, y'all stay safe out there, boy. Stay dangerous, uh, stay prayed up, keep God first, and stay creative, bro. And for the ones who just not in Blender, 
Bro, just keep going, man. Just keep going. The hardest part is to start. That's the hardest part. Once you start and you build that momentum, you good to go. Don't stop, bro. Just keep going. Other than that, man, I'll catch y'all on the flip. Catch y'all in the next video. Peace.